Looks like they already. How do I sound? Do they already get started? All right. So I we sound good. Yeah, you sound good. We're sound on. Perfect. We're on now. We're live. We got uh, action over here in Lincoln City, Oregon. This is Patrick Nix. I got Dane Mounts in the booth with me. I'm going to commentate some platinum singles for you guys. We got Brett Sherman and Mick Johnson at the table on the B side in the platinum singles. Lincoln City, Oregon. Welcome, everybody. Mick Johnson's in the green shirt from Mick, Shugle. Mick Johnson is in the green shirt and the green shoes. Yep. It's a 563. All right. We got Brett Sherman. He's a 601 from Corvallis, Oregon. All right. Let's get that microphone just a little closer to you there. Yeah, right How's there. That? That's good. That sounds good. I want to hear that deep Dane Mount's voice. Freight train Great Dane in the booth. How many nicknames do you have, Dane? Mm, not too many, actually. My wife calls me Dane the Main, I guess, because of the ponytail. Oh, the Main. <laughs> I like it. I like it. All right. So, but uh, Joshua Carlson gave me that freight train Dane. Freight train Dane. I like that one too. You and can't just, give yourself a nickname. No, somebody else has to give it to you. <laughs> Usually, I'm the one giving out nicknames. I, I've come up with quite a few for many of the players that have been on my streams. And uh, some of them stick. Some of them don't. But, you know. No, no. You, you're pretty witty. Pretty witty. All right. The Kitsap County wit. So, what do we got going here? Uh, just getting started here. So, looking like Mick has got solids. And he's eyeing up that 2-3 combination there. Boy, that's tough. Well, he doesn't really have much else. Well, he's got the five, actually. He's so going to try to draw but, past that 14. Yeah, oh, right what a shot. Okay. Okay. Sends that one home, and you gonna, know you he know gonna what? going to do it again, or is he going to do a that one? Actually, you know what I'm looking at? I got a color that matches his shirt right here with the line. <laughs> I'm looking at that four ball, and he's, yeah. look, he's looking at it, too. Yeah. Four to the side. If it goes past that eight, I'm all about it. It does. It does. He wouldn't be looking at it for that long if it didn't. And then. Well, see, my wife told me about this shot, and she said, and I never really thought about it. When I do them, you know, I'm kind of doing it on feel. And she said, you line up the outside of the ball to the, the front side of the pocket to make it clear. And I said, well, that makes it a lot easier. No, that makes sense. <laughs> I said, "Wow, really?" You know, every, it, there's a lot I, of I there's couldn't... a lot of aiming techniques out there. You know, and um, did we miss center, the shot? Center to edge. And what what happened here? I don't know. It did, skipped over. We skip. I, I think we skipped forward somehow. So I don't think he made we, it. We might have, still there. We might have time traveled here. Not sure what happened there. But we are live now, so All right. that was interesting. So, so Brett's at the table. I think we had a skip in the matrix is what happened. Might have been it. So Brett's at the table. Yes, he is. And he's, like got he's a, a lefty. He's got a, a pretty open look here. Oh, and he hit the ball with his cue. What? Yeah. Oh. And I don't think but, it was that ball. I think it was the two ball. He, he's asking him if he wants to put it back, and he's saying just go ahead and put it back. So well, I guess I think it's... it was the two. <laughs> no, I think it was. No, look at you. No, I'm gonna have to rewind on YouTube yes, just to see do it. it. I think it was. I might. I'm gonna check and see. We're not. We're not referees. We're just. No, no, no. We're just innocent bystanders over no. here. No, we just get in the way. Oh boy, looking pretty good. We take the fourteen next. Maybe right, stun we'll... it. We'll stun or draw back. Oh, he's going forward. Going to shoot it. Another corner. No, it, it was that was the that was the ball. That Which was the one? ball that moved. It was the that four, one. It was the four ball. Okay. He hit it with the tip of his cue. Yeah, on accident. Yeah. You put it back in the right spot. <laughs> uh, 
pretty close, actually. Oh, and he missed the eight in the side. Actually, yeah, he put it. He put it pretty close. I mean, yeah, where it is now. Yeah, it might have been a little bit. Yeah. I mean, oh, that's really close. That's yeah. that's really close. Yeah. Oh, he's an honest We're, guy. Yeah, he re has a good memory, mm -hmm. I guess. But but unfortunately, he doesn't have the. Um, so mix back at the table. Yeah. You can shoot that five ball. Yeah, he's shooting on that orange five right there. Just a little. Mm -hmm. So and I like going to shoot the. I, I like he, stunning out, so I like hitting the two ball, and stunning out this way to shoot that one, and then get on this one short side or. And I mean, on the, yeah, and is that the yeah, one. So, yeah, I'm I'm stunning. I'm using stun, stun over mm -hmm. for, for the four in the side next. That's where you can control a little bit. Yeah, oh, so he, he rubbed it a little. Yeah, bit. That's but he, good. he ended up pretty good. Okay, because so, now he's in a perfect shape to just go ahead and. Float. So now just stun back over. I think he's going to. He's going to float forward off this rail so? and end up. I think I, my <coughs> guess he's going to end up right in here. Sorry, excuse me. Yeah, there's that there's that volume now. Yeah, yeah. He didn't Let's get see. enough top yeah. on it, but not a bad uh, not a bad I spot. I like dragging it over. You do okay. I mean, I I probably would have because that going into the rail, there's the tables are so these seven footers. You just get too much or not enough. Yeah, that's true. That's true. I think he's still handless. There you yep. go. There you go. Good shot, Mick. Left himself straight in. Mick Johnson to take the early one nothing lead, and there it goes there it down is. the pipe. And at coming in at a five sixty three, he just barely made it into the platinum. Uh, you know, I think the yeah. cutoff for platinum was five sixty. So if he was four yeah. points lower, he'd be in gold. He's right on the bottom. And uh, so, you know, when you come in at the bottom of a division, especially a division like Platinum, where the spread is so big, right? The, the spread for Platinum is from 560 to 625, right? It's a 65-point spread. I didn't Every know. other division I didn't is like that. 35 or 40-point spread. What's the gold? Yeah, it's like 30. It's, no, it's the, the, gold, oh, gold's the gold is maybe. Spread. The gold is five, 510 to 560. Okay. So if it's a 50 point in gold. And then uh, the spread in the uh, silver one and silver two, they're smaller because there's more players in that in that um, uh, grouping gotcha, of gotcha. Fargo rates. Well, my first match, my wife asked me what the guy was rated that I played. I said, I don't know. <laughs> I said, I didn't look it up because I don't want to do that. I said, you're in silver, a... silver two, silver I'm in gold. Oh, you're in gold. Oh, right. Yeah. You're because you're 530, right? So uh, right now, 522. Yeah. But they're all the same, right? I mean, it's like, hey, you know, yeah, it doesn't I mean, matter, said, you know. It doesn't matter. 510 to 550, 560, you still got to play good. And I said he's in my division. That's <laughs> he's capable of running him. out of table. Just like you are. He was good. He was a good player. Did you beat him? 5-2. Five, 5-1. Five, it was good. Nice. He was good, could, but he wasn't as good as you were on that match, huh? No. Well, that's, I, that's how it is. That's how you're shooting. I mean, I could play him now, and he could beat me 5-2. Not yet? Uh, yeah, because yeah, it did also change something again. We've been, we've been tweaking it. So. Yeah, it's so every, time, every time you have to restart, you can give, give the All right, so Brett's, Brett's, okay. Brett's got stripes. Left himself a little close there. He's still got the 14, I believe. Looks like it's a little skinny going by the fire. And this is Brett Sherman from Corvallis, Oregon, coming in at 601 Fargo. All right. Now he's got the 15 in the corner, bottom right. Yeah. He's right. controlling that cue ball fairly right. nicely. Is he going to set up for the 10? Is that the 10 up there by the first diamond on the left upper corner? Uh, I think it's a 12. This, this one up here yeah. looks like the 12. I mean, I think that's... But uh, he's going to have to work here. Cause yeah, cause exactly. Again, the 13, that's a little window between those two. Well, he's he's got the 15, so he's going to have to bring it back into he, this little area. Yeah, I think he has a slight angle to the pocket, so I think it's possible for him to stun 
Or he can draw back to the wheel. He needs to try to. Home. He needs to try to stun out here. Yeah, oh, just through, just uh, like that, right? He might. And then I don't he, think he's got it. He had to power his way through there, and I think he's got yeah, this. He's got to shoot this. One. I yeah. don't think he's got the. 13. No, the thirteen doesn't. No, he doesn't have the thirteen. There's too much cover yeah, there. I think that's it. What, uh, but th do? this is this was the ball that he does was he, looking does to he get. Hit top. To come around. I don't. I don't Where think are you gonna so. Go with it? Uh, I think draw, draw back. I think you're gonna I think you're gonna come into this three ball here. Well, oh no, he went around and he went around and, and actually, that might he can go up. It's thirteen maybe. That might go in the pocket here. I don't know if it goes by. He's looking. He is looking. He might be able to combo it and we drift down. How's everybody doing out there in Chatland? We are having a great time out here in Lincoln City. Party at the beach. We're in a room with 80 pool tables. And Brett's going to come with a shot right here. A thousand friends. <laughs> What's, their, What's their motto? Everything's better at the beach. Everything's better at the beach. I love coming here. I always, always have I a good time coming to Lincoln City. I do. I, we didn't come for a long time. Oh, yeah. Oh, that was beautiful. Look at this. And he gets shape on the 13. He's not out of trouble yet, but, man, he is doing some hard work to get through this rack. I think he's just got to draw into that ball. And is he on Is he on the break, the break and run here? I think, uh, I think he did break, right? I don't think I've seen Mick come to the table yet. I think it might be a break. Yeah. You can draw into it nice and uh oh, no. oh he, he tried, tried to, to cut it up. down the corner. I see why, because that makes it this shape easier. But now he's in he's in trouble. He's in trouble because now his partners I mean his uh, opponents got all their all their balls and stuff is tied up, so yeah. there's no pressure here. There's no no fear of missing and losing for uh for Mick here. He can kind of free roll for a little while. Yeah, anyway. I can. I think he's a uh, 13's in a bad spot. That might give me heart palpitations. My ball. Mix looking to get one back. All right, so Mick trying to figure out how he wants to attack this because he's got an opportunity right now to come into this come into this uh, four ball here and come crashing into this stuff if he wants to. But is this the time to do it? You know, you have to pick your spots here. And I don't know if he's going to get a better angle on the four with what he's got left here to do something like that. But, you know, he, he doesn't have to. Yeah, he can. Oh, no, that's the one pike. He didn't want to do that because... I mean, it doesn't go, but he left him a full ball to hit, and maybe he can bank it out of there and do something or play yeah, a save. I, th I thought he'd just cut it, come back, cross the tape, put the cue ball on the other side, on the right side of the tape. Yeah, I'm going to turn you up a little bit here. We want you right, right about there. But, yeah, I, I agree. And uh, Brett is looking for a, a place to stick that cue ball, and he's seeing where the 13 is going to go and where the cue ball is going to go and, you know, what the other guy's going to have. Uh, I don't know. You know what I kind of favor right here? He's not going to put a lot on this one. 
I'm going to try to bank that out of there and freeze oh, yeah. him on the two. I think, yeah, I think maybe, yeah. Oh, oh that's what he's he doing. Holy off, smokes. Nice shot. What a shot. Brett Sherman, ladies and gentlemen, with an excellent carom shot right down the rail and right into the hole. And shape. And shape. Wow. I'm pretty sure right side. Side pocket, huh? Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Side. He's taking a minute. I think the side is the easiest. He's taking shot. a minute. He's coming down, decompressing. You know, that's a good idea. After you make a great shot, don't just get right down yeah. and shoot the easy shot right after that. Oh, you know and, he, what? and he's got an opponent that was in the. You'll, you'll, miss, you'll miss if you just I mean, get someone right down. from one of the other tables. He had to wait for it, too. Oh, okay. Well, that's a good thing, though. Yes, gave him a so. chance to compose, you know. Because how many times have we done that? Sure. There we go. Mix got two. All right. Uh, no, that was that was Brett that got that one. So it's tie oh. game. Yeah, Mick is green. Oh, Mick is green. That's right. So, yeah. Okay, it's one one. They didn't hit the score yet. Yeah, they haven't hit the scoreboard. And uh, you know, what? let me go. Let me go tell him about the scoreboard because I don't. I don't think that Brett knows about the scoreboard. He wasn't there when I gave the tutorial. Okay. I'll go tell him. I'll hang out by myself. Yeah, you can keep talking. <laughs> keep, it, keep the train on its tracks. Yeah, so for anybody that uh, is close, you might want to think about coming down here. We've got uh, Tyler Steyer and uh, Margaret Fefalova in a side room off the main pool table area. And they're doing uh, some instructional stuff. Uh, they're selling, I don't know if it's a, uh, Signed cue balls, or, I know. but I know that you can pay to play Margaret yeah. Fefalova Steyer, Steyer. And uh, Tyler Steyer, for anybody that doesn't know, is one of the, he's been on the Moscone Cup a few times. One of the up and coming young, they're a, what? Tyler Steyer and Margaret Fefalova Steyer, you say they're what a power professional couple. <laughs> oh, for sure, for sure. They're super nice. People. Yeah, who wants to? So play? Anybody wants to come down there? You want to do Jack and Jill scotch doubles with uh, Margaret and uh, Tyler? Well, I was letting people know that they could come down. They're doing some stuff in that side room. Yeah, they're doing exhibition matches. They're doing challenge matches. They're doing. Uh, he's uh, showing off his product. I think it's called the balls, which is this stroke training tool. Uh, with his with the the balls that he uses, they they go off course if you hit it at all off to the side. Oh, okay. So is it, that what that is? Yeah. Okay. So it teaches you to stroke exactly center ball straight through the ball. If your stroke is off even by a millimeter, those things they'll go in a different direction. Well, and I was telling telling them that I wasn't quite sure what they were, but it's a nice shot. Yeah, very good shot. I'm not sure what Brett's got here. We froze up a little bit. Yeah, we did. Yeah, that microphone's real sensitive. If you uh, if you tap it at all, kind of gives you a little bit of a a pop to your ear there. But um, I 
Yeah, this is, these two players are pretty good. I'm I'm enjoying what they're what they're doing so far, and I like the pace that they're playing at, keeping the action moving. I'll tell you one thing about singles versus doubles is they go a lot faster because you don't have conferences. You don't have a conference with yourself every two shots, you know. And yeah, scotch yeah. doubles, the, the 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 partners, which I understand, I'm not knocking them for it because you got to make sure that you're on the same page you know that you guys have the same plan in mind so you have to communicate a lot in yeah. scotch doubles and so the games take twice as long to complete in singles you know you don't have to have a conference with yourself you know what well, your plan yeah, is you know there's, there's times also when you got to go to plan b <laughs> but right, you but have in, a plan but in singles you don't have to talk it over with anybody you just make it in your head and you, you execute, you know. Correct. So you do have to take some time, of course, to figure it out. But Oh, that slid too good. Yeah, it slipped right skinny. through the gap. All right. So he's eyeing up this, I believe it's 12 ball in the side. And I think he wants to just stop the cue ball right here. How's that? Mm -hmm. How's that for that getting in good. my circle? You like that's that? That's pretty good. I'm getting good with drawing the circle, knowing hey, what, yeah. knowing where I. That's where I want position. So now, now, right? Because he, he draw back. Does he shoot no, the nine. Draw no, back. Or he no, shoots the fourteen. Yeah, right? he's going here. But where? And he's going off this way. And he wants to come to in. Where? He wants to come. <laughs> yeah, he wants to come in this area. Right in there. But if you come in short, you got the nine in the side. If you come okay. up here, you've got the fifteen okay. in right. the corner, right? Okay. See, but I think he's thinking the other. Okay. I don't. I don't like that as much because I don't you don't. Because he's gonna. Got, he's trying to get back to right where he is. I believe. Yeah, but your fifteen is blocking the. Now he's gonna shoot the combo. Yeah, I don't like shooting a combo. No, I don't either. He might have the fourteen though. I don't think so. It's it's possible that he he got into that window, but I'm just saying that made it a lot harder. I think if he just used played the fourteen on that last shot. So now you got to play the deflection off the fourteen. Where's the fifteen gonna go? Is that the fifteen? Yeah. And where's your cue ball going to be? Yeah, that's just, this is not ideal. So I think, I think he's going to, it's going to drift the 15. If he hits it correctly, it should drift down to like the middle diamond on the bottom rail and drift over close. I mean, as long as he doesn't. Are you talking kill about it, if he's going to play the 14? Right, but the 15 is going to deflect. Oh, if he plays the way. combo. Yes, the combo. Yeah. I don't think he can make the 14. He's got to shoot a combo. Well, let me, let me, let me, let me measure it here. Yeah, yeah, you're probably right. That that does that does look like the 15s in the way according to my line. But it looks to me like he's eyeing it out. I think it's really close, Dane. Look, I mean, the way that he's been looking at it, I think it's really, really close. Well, then he could mass it, but then, then nah, you, you really can't. don't have it. You can't. You, you can't get shape. Yeah, you're not going to mass say that. But <laughs> you're never going to get that curve to grab right at that last. Well, but second. you're not going to get the shape either afterwards. <laughs> You'll probably end up over here. You know, if the fourteen doesn't go, I think that the I best. Mean, I think that the best two will be in the way. The best shot would be to play the fifteen off of that ball. Yeah, he now. tried the combo. Yeah, that was a tough. It was so that off the, angle. Yeah, that was just I, I think an, a, a choice that was different because he got the perfect shape to go that fourteen off that rail, and if he comes out here, you know, to this area, he would have had the nine in the side, right? Or mm -hmm. if he came up too high he has that the the 15 so well, if he, he hit it to, correctly i think the 15 would have bled over there to go and he would have had it in the lower right pocket well i was talking about the shot before oh right yeah right, the right, shot right, before right. he should have shot the 14 take that 14 out of the way yeah, so you don't I, have a combo I, I, to deal with I, I, uh, but you know hey is everybody has their own ooh. oh wow that's mixing it up this guy brett just <laughs> likes to pull the trigger doesn't he that was... He likes those carom shots, man. That's the second time we've seen him do a carom shot, and that one's like 90 miles an hour, so... and it rattles its way home, and now everything's open. Oh. He's got a stroke, man. He This guy likes to let his stroke flow, you know? He's playing like he's on a nine-footer, Patrick. Right? He probably does play on a nine-footer the, the way that his stroke looks. He's lefties, I'm telling you. They got another gear. I don't know why it's kind of 
it's what uh, more aesthetic viewing to watch a left-hander for some reason. I don't know why. Yeah. Something different, maybe? Is that what it is? Yeah, I guess so. I mean, the pros, they talk about it all the time. I mean, Filler, when he strokes the ball, his tip is on the cue ball for a long time. I mean, it's like he's almost like it's on a string. Oh, oh wow. he moved he the moved eight with again? his cue. So he's got some wild movements going on. <laughs> He's got some. He's got some pretty wild movements going on with that cue. It's like um, he needs to. Uh, I, I needs think, to tame, I, tame I, the I, wild horse here. I'm not sure. I would. But it's working well, for him so far. I think I'd want to back where it was. <laughs> I mean, if I was. Well, his opponent got the option. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, so there it goes. Down it goes, and that was a great run out. He had a trouble ball. He popped it out of there like it was no problem, and he took care of that rack in, what, like 45 seconds Seems with, like with a problem. And most of the games that have been like that so that we've seen in the last few days have taken a half an hour. So what kind of rack is that? That's I don't a, think I've seen that one. Yeah, that's a, that's a Talm Max rack. That's oh, the, a new one. Huh? Yeah, Talm makes those. So they make racks, they make gloves, they make tips, they make chalk. Okay. Yeah, so they're getting in the, they're getting their hands in a lot of different areas. Do you own one? I do. No, oh, I yeah. do. Well, says. Talm is one of my sponsors. So okay. they, they sent me a, a box of stuff. So I got, you know, some Talm chocks, some gloves, some tips, and a couple of Max Racks. I don't prefer the Max Rack. I will be honest. Uh, you know, I'm not, just because they sponsor me, I'm, I'm not going to, you know, say it's the best. Uh, I actually think that... All right, Brett's gonna about to break. There we go. And he puts a lot of force into that break, just like he does on his stroke. But nothing went in the pockets, I don't think. Let's see: one, two, three, four, five, six, seven stripes, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven solids. And he, he's taking the rack off and running back to his yeah. chair. Yeah. This guy is somebody fed him too many espressos, <laughs> I think. <laughs> I don't know. They, they got rock stars, the big cans over there. He's 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 got energy, man. This guy. He's got some energy. So was he? Did he purchase that rack here somewhere? Is someone here? Oh somewhere? yeah, they sell them here at uh, Biggle Box. Has Biggle everything. Box? Yeah, okay. yeah. Come and talk to Steve and Carissa. Biggle Box. They got everything you need. Yes, yeah, so all your cue supplies for one of those racks. Tips, gloves, racks, chalk, chalk holders, cues, jackets, you name it, they've got it. We got hustling in here. We've got Savage Billiard Apparel in here. I know you you like Savage Billiard Apparel. I see I you, do, you've got yeah. your Savage on right yes, now I actually. Got some hustling, got a lot of hustling too. A hustling shirt, and jersey. And we got cue repair from Bob Danielson. He's our next door neighbor over here. And we got us ourselves as a sponsor here in this event, the Evo Sports. And if you guys have not heard Evo Sports before, we are a fairly new company in the U.S., but we've been operating out of Canada for several years. It is a player run live stream system that is super simple and easy to use. We install this at bars and pool halls as a way for players to just run their own live streams whenever they want without the bar owner or tournament director having to run any kind of complicated equipment. Nobody has to know how to use any kind of complex technology. It's just as simple as going to the tablet that's mounted on the wall. You type in your name, you type in your race length, and you hit start stream. And from the tablet, I mean, the tablet's on the table. The players keep the score. Yeah. And so the players right now, I can see the score on their tablet. Yeah, they're doing everything. They're live streaming their match. We're just we're just here talking. Yeah. Yeah. We're just piggybacking. Yeah. 
we're not live streamers. We're commentators. The players are their own live streamers. It's a great system. If you own a pool hall or manage a pool hall, talk to us. EvoSports.live is our website. Evo Sports Streaming on YouTube, which you're watching this on right now, is our YouTube channel. You can see all of the WBCA action that we have going on tables 1 and 17 and 18. That's our stream tables for this week, this event. Brad just stroked that one down the rail. He's trying to debate. Looks like he's going to shoot the 15 on the side and try to hold it for the 10. Oh, no, he went all the way down. Oh, my. Got action. Oh, got a bad rub there. But he's still okay. Tell you what, you know, Brett Brett seems a little bit like a loose cannon, but I like him. <laughs> yeah. I like why he's an entertaining player you to watch. He's you know? rock and fire, man. Yeah. He probably pitched. He's probably a pitcher. A pitcher in baseball, you <laughs> yeah, think? Yeah. Why would you say a pitcher? Because he's just rock and fire, man. Get yep. up there and get the look rock at it. and fire. Yep. Yep. He's not an outfielder where he's standing around forever yeah. waiting for something yeah. to do. Right fielder picking daisies. Yep. <laughs> Well, Little League kind of stuff. T-ball. Yeah. Okay, well, he doesn't. Mick's got stripes, right? I believe so. So is he shooting carom right here? I think it cuts. I don't you think, think he... it cuts? Yeah, I think it cuts. You're going to lose the cue ball. That's what I'm saying. If you carom it. You can keep the cue ball. Yeah, I don't know if the carom actually makes it, but I think it's, it does. It, well, it's it's hard to see without a getting. You got to look at it from the side view, yeah. and that's that's the way you can tell if it caroms because you need to well, know. I think you got to hit it pretty full, ish. Yeah, and then you got to draw the cue ball back away from it, right? So cue ball is well, not continually pushing forward to. through it. I don't know. Just, I, I, maybe draw it. How's he? I don't know. Depends on where he's trying to get. Yeah. I mean, what he's got, actually. That's I mean, if, if, if it cuts. I'm perplexed I, from being over here. If it cuts, I, I'm just going to take the cut. What's he looking at here? I don't know. He's looking at like a kick shot, I think. Maybe it's just where the cue will. Is he kicking? Is he not stripes? He is. Is, is, he, is he solids? Okay, maybe, maybe maybe he's solids and we had, we had missed it here. Yeah, he, he is. Solids. He is solids. Oh, oh, heck of a try! Yeah, we 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 messed up. Dane, Dane, that My was you. Bad. I'm going to blame that on you. That's yeah. what you know. That's the, that's the whole reason that I get a co-commentator in the booth is <laughs> I need to, have, to take the I hit. need somebody to take the punches, <laughs> man. All right. Well, I know Brett's up now with ball in hand. Table eighteen. Yep. A couple spectators asking. All right, we got we got some people in the chat going. I know who sitting duck is. I wasn't watching the chat before, but Yeah, Patrick's got the chat. He's hogging it. I can't even see. I can't. Yeah, we're limited on our screens over here. Yep. So again, Brett Brett plays out of Corvallis, Oregon. Mm -hmm. yep. Yeah, he's a fun he's a fun player to watch. He likes to just let it let it go. And he's letting it go on this yeah, one. I, I like pretty good, yeah, yeah, I like this. That 10 plays nicely, and I believe he's going to go 10, 12, 8 to finish this rack out. So too. 
make You're it a three nothing game. Standing there looking at it like I want this one, right? Yeah. All right, I'm going to give you my I'm going to give you my circle right here. Do it. This is my circle for position. He's going to get the ten and just stun down to that spot right there. If he lands in that spot, that's perfect. You like it? I do like it. Uh, I want to see him get there. You know the the players can see the target. That's why I put it in there. So they it actually goes <laughs> yeah, on the projects yeah. onto the table. <laughs> it's so, on the table. Uh, he, oh, he missed. So the he target. he didn't stun. I Not thought by he, much though. Yeah, I thought he was going to stun it. I think he's still fine right there. He just rolled it forward. He's still on the same line. Nothing so. wrong with that. A little stop he's shot here. A little bit. Yeah, he wants to just stop yeah. shot, get perfect on the eight. For a 3-1 lead. And it's in the hole. There it goes. Three to one, just like that. I'll tell you what. It, platinum, what's the race of Platinum? It's race to six. Okay. Yep. Says it right at the bottom there, but I oh, had it kind of cut off on the screen that you were watching there. So only got so much screen space here. Dane's over here trying to find out if his wife, Christine, had won her match. Did she win? No. She didn't hear you? Oh, she said no. She did not win. Okay. Last I saw, she was down four to two. She was on the stream table, so. Which one? We got five of them in this building. Ah, uh, well, okay, with uh, with Raw Hannah. Raw Hannah. Okay. Table nine. Yep. Oh, that's right. I saw her over there, yeah. Yeah, this is the, the most number of live stream tables that the WBCA has ever done in any event. Ooh, you hit those pretty good. Got five all tables down. live streamed. All down. Mick's all right. still at the table. Yep, and Mick knows he's he's got to get something going here. He doesn't want to end up getting that hole down to 4-1. That, that becomes really a daunting task to come back from. So this is a pivotal rack to make it 3-2 or 4-1. It's a huge difference I in the score. This so. is pivotal. He's taking his time. You know, Brett, Brett made some mistakes early in the set, but he's looking like he's settling in nicely. Looks like he's decided on solids. But Mick has got those bright green shoes and bright green jacket and hat you know so Ooh. he's out there in nowhere though yeah he's got options here i think his options right now if he doesn't have the two ball i don't think he does but he does have the five right so the, the five does play that's <laughs> seven plays i guess there's balls that play yeah there, and he has a two it looks like he oh, has yeah, he must have the two yeah he does that's why I said if he doesn't have the two, but he, he yeah, does, just and he that. got nice on the one. So here yeah. we go. He got an opportunity to break and run this rack, put some pressure on Brett. I think he's going to play the six. Then the one in the upper right. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah. Because he's going away from a seven. Seven's going to have to be another day. <laughs> yeah, I kind of prefer, I kind of prefer the one right now. Just because the one blocks this pocket for the three ball, you know, so it just opens up another pocket for you. Yeah, this is. I think that's the one. That's the nine. No, it? this is the one ball. This is the five ball up here. Oh, that's the five. Yeah, so that's what I'm here for is to help oh, I you out. I see it. I see it. Yep. The one. Now he's going with your plan. Number. He's going with the six. Is he going to go now six? He's got the one. Or the five? Or, yeah. Or, or the seven. seven. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's got multiple <laughs> options here. What's the best? What's the best option? I think five I think ball. The one. Come okay. Back to the five. Well, no, no. I think you're, 
He needs to do something well, with these. Let me five. let me tell you. Let me ask you this. It's he eight needs ball. Needs to do something with the it's, five it's, seven. It, it's eight ball. So what's your key ball on the eight? That's the question. Yeah, that is the question. What's your what's know. what's your key ball going to be for the eight? I don't think he knows yet. I don't know. You got to figure that out early, and especially when you're I mean, getting down to the last do, three what, or four. What do you right? think it is? I, well, I mean, it's going to change here. <laughs> you know, i i would have I would have guessed that the three ball would have been a good key ball for the eight. Because he's in the middle of the table. Because it's in the middle, it's got lots of pockets, and you can you you can, from most positions of that three ball, you can get to the eight pretty easily. But because of where the 10 ball is, I don't like these balls as your key balls. That's what I meant. That means you that know, he needed to do something with one of those two balls. Yeah. But you just circle. But he's going to he's gonna take the three. He's firing. And he's in trouble. He just got put in jail. He put himself in jail. And that's going to cost him, I think. Well. You don't get too many chances against good players in this tournament, like in the Platinum Division. You can't give up open tables to anybody. Check and see. I think 9:30 was the last scheduled matches yeah, for tonight. But you can check at the tournament desk to see. No, I'm just gonna hit balls on it. I mean, obviously, if somebody comes yeah. and yeah, good idea. Oh. You could uh, just not. Yeah. All right, we're back on. <laughs> Had to go yell at some people. That's it. Go to your room. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, I had some. Camera interference issues with some of the pedestrians. Yeah, we, we got a we got a camera set up in here that's a portable unit that, uh, and I don't want people walking through where the camera is, and so I had to shoo them away. Yeah, I had to shoo them away <laughs> a little bit. I got this, you know, I got this badge. You know, they there give me this is. badge. It makes me it makes is. me look important. It you is. Know, like I, I better put it on. Special event. Yeah, I better put it on. I'm telling you, what. I don't have the badge. No, but you're with me though, <laughs> yeah, so you're okay. good. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I got you. All right, so. Four balls left. Ooh. All right. Gravity, gravity helped. What's he gonna do with the 13? That's 13 is the hardest ball on the table. You know, even though, I mean, it's not terribly hard, but you, you do have to be paying attention to yeah, where you're gonna get the, on it. But he's going to tend to. He's, he's going to go. take it he's, last. There he is. That's he's going to get on it right here. Okay, I like it. I like it. Yeah. Hit it with some right. Mm -hmm. Some low right. I don't think. I think he just hit center ball right. Yeah, low low right, and he just got a little, little he's much in on him. Good shape. Yeah, he's good. I just kind of kind of drag draw. Little... Yep. Good to go. I like just it. Just don't. Just don't. Just don't, ba I don't, here's, know, don't baby it. Here's my, here's my circle. Yeah, yeah. You like it? I think. Well, no. See, I oh, thought his, he could do that. His, his circle's better. I thought he could do that. I didn't know. That's why I called it a little drag draw. That was a little steeper angle. That was, it was a good shot. It was a very good uh -oh. shot. He Watch out, good? cue ball. Oh, Watch out, cue ball. Oh, he's Ooh. good. Four one. Ooh. Four one. Brett. He's steamrolling now. Yeah. Brett had a heart palpitation there. Thank you. 
No, she was talking to you, Dane. She no, said, you're doing a great job. No, no, no. She said, you guys. And that's, I did. that's I, I, you're I, part of the you I guys. Did, I did fall in. All right. So Sheldon in the chat says that uh, Brett has a four uh, a diamond uh, nine foot at home with four and a quarter inch pockets, maybe four and eighth inch. So, yeah. Yeah. He's, this is a toy to him. You know, you know that's seven foot tails. Seven so foot with four and a half inch is much, much easier than a nine foot with four and an eighth inch pockets. That's. It's a big difference. I know nothing looks long to me when I'm playing because I got a nine footer. Yeah, oh. yeah, yeah. You don't you play on a nine foot, and uh, it makes everything a little easier. Your if you need that big stroke, you have it in your arsenal. When you Man. play on a nine, you, you've got that that down. But it's, it's hard to temper the stroke down for you the seven to, footer. Yeah, you I'm have telling to know, you. Yeah, you have to know how to dial it in. I'm telling you, I I, I have a hard time. Not letting her go. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, the thing is, is that a lot of good players, even on the bar boxes, they don't try to hold the the ball much. They let it go. They go ahead and, and like Brett's one of them. Mm -hmm. he, he doesn't he doesn't just baby it in there. No. He doesn't slow roll no, much. That's, that's the problem. When you can't hold it, when you know it's probably you can't hold it, just then use don't the, hold it. Yeah, use the extra <laughs> yeah, rails. Yes. Go around the table. Yes, don't try to hold it. Move that uh -oh. cue ball. No, he's good. He's good. Move that cue ball around. Take the extra two or three rails if you need to. And as long as you're accurate with your spin and you know that you're not going to come into the line of any balls or trouble, now it's all good. Well, that is kind of a goofy looking rack. Yeah, it is, isn't it? He got it out of there, though. He looked at it like, okay. All right, so... This looks as this is the one ball, even though it's got a glare on it. It is the it is the one All right. right there. Just to let you know, because I know that because the nine's right here and it's they're both yellow, so kind of the way you can tell. But he's going to take solids. I agree with that. I think so. And let's see how he wants to play this. I'm wondering if he wants to try to break stuff out or play everything as it lies because you don't really have to break anything out technically. They, all the balls do play. You just have to do it in a very specific uh, strategic order. Yeah, Move the forward. six to the seven looks the this might be right here. This is where it comes down. Yeah, he's got options here, doesn't he? Yeah, he, he does. He, he, can play the, he could play the one. Or the six. But I think he's going to play the one, but I don't know where he's going to get. One looks like, I mean, he, he play, doesn't want to run into that, I don't think. Well, I think if he's going to do but, a I mean, breakout. The 15, is that the 15? Oh, whatever. It's 11, the, it's the 11 because the 15 here. Okay. Yeah, this is the 11 here. I don't think he wants to run into that because now you're clogging things up. Right. I think if he's going to break it up, he's going to put draw stroke on it right here and come into, come into the pile this a, way. That might be the play. Into right, because it, cause then it stops the cue ball. It kind of stops the cue ball in the middle, and that stuff scatters out, and then he's got the two ball next, right? Yeah, he's shooting the six. Yeah, and he's going to draw into the pile. Oh, just a little bump oh. on the seven. is That's all that you needed. That works. <laughs> Can you get it? What do you need? Oh, sorry. Oh, oh my gosh, you missed it, Dane. He powered the two ball into the pocket. He missed it, but he hit it so hard that the two ball bounced out of the pocket, runs into the cue ball, and goes back into the same pocket. So literally, he hit the two ball so hard into the pocket, it came back out this far, hits the cue ball, and goes back to the pocket oh, no. that he called it in. Oh, So he actually made Trick a shot. shot. Yeah, but now look at where he ended up after that because of all that collision. <laughs> That's a new one. I, yeah. I mean, I, I've seen a, you know, a, a double kiss you know, go yeah. in accidentally, but that, I've never seen it come out that far and then bounce off the ball because he hit it so hard. Bounced back off the cue ball. It went right straight into the pocket. I'm one of those. Uh, I'll call the double kiss. 
just because I want him to know I did it on purpose. Yeah, Sean Heenan in the chat saying Dane gets to commentate. <laughs> I said, yeah, of course. <laughs> well, Sean, if you were here, you could maybe. Absolutely. Put some training wheels on for you. Sean Heenan, are you coming to Lincoln City? Is he is he coming? I don't think so, Sean. You're not coming down, are you? So Sheldon says it's an old house and that Brett has. So oh, he's got an old house. they got tight pockets, yeah. Well, his does anyway. Oh, those old, all of the old housing tables that I played on are pretty tight, pretty skinny. Yep. This is Shane says Sean. Sean says this is mixed chance. So here we go. He's got ball in hand and a wide open table. So this is it, right? This is his opportunity. If he doesn't close escrow on this stuff here, he's going to be in a world of hurt. Can't let Brett get on the hill five one. Especially when you got a ball in hand opportunity with not much in the way. I'm taking the 10 ball first. I am. Oh, well, I guess 11 10 is not bad. 11 and then the 10. Not a bad idea. I'm definitely focused on getting the 10 ball out of okay. that spot so everything else gets a little easier. And then I like attacking the 9 14 down here. You know, these two. I want, to, I want to get those out of there because these two up here are going to be really easy balls. They're separated quite a bit. They've all got lots of pockets, and they get you to the eight really nicely. Uh, so that's that's what I like here. I like okay. ten, 10 ball and then either the 9 or the 14, getting rid of those two after that. I think you need to draw it on there for, for me, for sure. <laughs> you do? <laughs> no. Oh. <laughs> Not now. Well, now you do. Because now, which one do you shoot? I think you shoot the 9 to come back up for the 14. Yeah, I think if you shoot the 14, you're, you're going to have to run into the 9. Well, you're going to have to jack up and draw back yeah, a little bit. Yeah, you want to do that. He's going to have to jack up off the rail and draw back to, you know. You always want to shoot the outside one, usually on the rails. Every. Yeah. I, no, I, I'm still shooting the 14 here. Are you? Yeah. I'm Drawing shoot, back? Yeah, because your cue ball is a good couple inches off the rail. Well, now that I look at it, he's pretty straight on that 14, so yeah. he didn't come straight back. Yeah, I like the 14. It was kind of deceiving for a second. I thought he had more of an angle where he had to run into the 9. But I think he can come back. I like the 14 here, and he's doing that jacking up. The oh, but so it you're, leaked out. You're, you're right, kind of. Yeah. I think he had a little more angle than what we could see. Yeah. I thought he was a little straighter than that, but. Well, my first glance, I, this is what I thought was going to happen. But after I looked at it again, but he still, he still got the. There we go. Nice shot. Nice shot. Okay. So now Mick's going to have to put a stroke on here. Mick's. Mick's going to have to put a little low right, get it back underneath that seven with a good speed to get. On the ball that I can't see, on the nine ball. Or really put a stroke on it and go, come across for the nine in the lower left. Because short side. We'll see. Here we go. He's going short side. All right. And a little steep. A little back cut. A right, little like back cut on the nine. A little too much. Yeah, Mick is in a little bit of. But he can still do this. Yeah, it's still do. A little bit oh, of a sorry. tough spot here. A little bit of a tough he spot. He can still do it. Go all the way up. Don't try to hold it. That's for saying. Darn sure. Yeah. I think I think he's going to have to drift all the way up and come back. Yeah. He might at he might also attempt a safety, which is dangerous, right? <laughs> yes. It's dangerous, but yes. it's there if he. Oh, if, to to get behind that. If he hits, leave him long on the yeah. Other one, if or? he hits the nine to the rail. And rolls the I cue think, and tries to roll I think the cue you ball need to into it over here an area. Say and just test him. But I'm telling you, this kid's been shooting pretty good. 
Oh, Brett. But this this is big. Given that. No, oh, I don't. Uh, the oh, safety talking about the other option. Yeah. Oh, See, what a that's shot. what I say. Hey, hey, there's my shot. I called yeah, it. He did. All Here right. Put this one is down way the, better. Put one down on the tick sheet. I did. For, yep. You Dane, called. Dane called this one. Yep. You got one. You get a point. I did. Huh? <laughs> I, I get a point. I don't know what that gets me, but I get one. Oh, there we go. All there right. Go. So All right. here we go. Mick Johnson coming back. He's saying, I'm not ready to go home yet. This is a B-side match. So loser goes home. Well, they don't go home, go home, <laughs> but they're out of this tournament. Oops. Sorry, I hit my headset. It, it does kind of suck, though, when you come for singles and teams, and then you, you, you get... You get knocked out on day one on Monday, and then you have to wait until Thursday to start teams. You know what I mean? So you're you got all, all day Tuesday and Wednesday. Oh yeah, my yeah. wife and I won two barbecued and scotch. Everybody that wants to play with their wife, um, I would uh, encourage you to find her another partner. And there's lots of guys that are looking for a good female shooters. <laughs> who, who who's looking for a partner? I, I'm saying I play with my wife, but. It's tough playing with your spouse. Oh, you know, we've had that. We have that discussion on the live stream. It's all, tough. All, a couple of yes, yesterday we were doing scotch matches all day, and we did a lot of husband and wife scotch doubles. And you know, you you see some some uh, arguments going on, you know. And I'm like, this is going to cause marital problems, <laughs> you know. Some of the, some of these teams. You know, yeah, it it's tough. But you know, some of the some of the husband and wife teams have been playing together for years and years and years. And they know just they know how to communicate really well and they don't think stuff personally. But I know in my relationship with my wife, she's not a pool player. Right. But Lucky if she you. but if she was, <laughs> if she was, I don't think that I would want to play scotch doubles with her. It's impossible. And I and I'm not saying anything bad about her. I love her to death. She's a great woman, but I don't think that her and I would do well chemistry-wise in a in a in a competitive situation because I'm extremely competitive and she's not very yeah. competitive, right? So like, whatever. You know, and so <laughs> I I would I would be way too serious and she would get mad and it would just be a big it would be a big disaster. That's why they call it Scotch Troubles. Yeah. You know, well, they said so. if you want to get a divorce, play Scotch Troubles. <laughs> and then but, I, the best analogy, the beam with the <laughs> from Pulp Fiction, the one with uh, John Travolta and Uma Thurman, it's the best. I mean, they're oh, on the yeah. way. They're riding, and they're happy. They're in the car. They're on your way to play Scotch Doubles. And then on the way back, it shows them they're completely apart yeah, in the right. car. Yes, I've seen that got, meme. Yeah, yeah they've yeah. got the just like. Yeah, I've seen I'm, that meme. Yeah. This is the worst night ever look on their face. And uh -huh. It was like coming home from playing Scotch Doubles together. <laughs> but some some of them do play a lot together, like the Tiptons. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You see them and uh, – uh, well, I, I play with my wife a lot. We do yeah. well sometimes. I mean, but when we don't, somebody's, you know, I, I'm okay all the time, but she's pretty critical. Of, she thinks I'm Superman. <laughs> so, all right. I, I have nothing to do but fail. Well, and whatever you say on the live stream can be held against yes, you. Yes, it it will know. be recorded and she chrono, knows. You know, she already knows. Yeah, so I, you got to be real careful. I'm here, not trying so. to hide anything. Here. All right. Well, let's get back Come to on, the game. Nick. Let's get back to the game here. So, Mick. It is good. This is good. Mick is hitting his gear now. He's finding a little groove. He's got the four. No, he's got the four. Well, he does. He's good. But then what? Well, let's just let him work out the pro. Let's, let's wait and see. <laughs> why, 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 don't well, we, I'm you. why don't we not speculate? Let's wait and see. I think the six plays. If he can come into the 10. There you go. Yep. If he can come into the 10 just like that. I think it does play there. Yep. The six plays. Good. Yep. Little rub, little bump. Mm hmm. He's working through his problems. Rubbing his racing. Here. You got yep. this. You know, the thing about eight ball when you're commentating eight ball is that there's hundreds of ways that you could run out the rack. And the only wrong way is the one that doesn't work. Mm -hmm. Right? There's lots of right ways. Yeah. You know? And, um, uh, Everybody's got a different way of doing things, and that's why I say the the only wrong way is the one that that, 
it doesn't Look at that. work. I mean, I would have never thought that would happen right there. Did he carry him off yeah. that other ball and then he set him up yeah. in the side pocket? That was fantastic. Yeah, now he's got everything pretty open here. Lots of opportunity. The two ball he does have to I mean, be mindful. You know, of. from the angle, this the screen we're looking at. I mean, that was not something I was wondering what was gonna happen. He does have to be mindful of the two ball here. He got a good angle. He's gotta get where he needs to be. Okay, that's what he wants. A little back cut. That's what he's decided. So do you draw back? Or hmm. I think I do try to draw back over here. Oh, he's going in there. And he, oh, that's oh, going to work like out. That shot. I do like that shot. I'm doing what he did. Yes, me too now. <laughs> <laughs> See, that's why I waited to answer your question. A, now that he shot that, it, I'm like, that's exactly what yeah, I would have done. If it didn't work, I said, no, I wouldn't have done that. that I would have done fantastic. it the other way. Yeah. So, I like it a lot. Oh, Ooh. yeah. This is okay. A little tricky here. He's on the rail. You can do it. Pressure trust shot. The, trust the stroke. It's a big swing game, also. Either going to be 5 2 or 4 1 or, or 4 3. Trust the stroke. I'm going to leave my keyboard here. Okay. Got a player on my league team that every time he's on the rail a little okay. bit like this. No problem. I got you. He talks himself. Good night. <laughs> he talks himself into believing he can't make this shot. The guy on my league team. I'm like, come on, dude. There we go. There it is. Like butter. Wow. Mick stroked it in yeah, like, look, like look it at, was a hanger. Yeah, look at Mick Johnson go. Was that a break and run, by the way? I think it might have been a break and run. I wasn't paying attention all the way, but I, I think he broke and ran that rack. I, I don't remember. I don't know, but he shot that eight ball in like a hanger. Yeah, I don't remember <laughs> Brett getting to the table, but. I don't remember seeing Brett there either. No. So we'll call it a break and run just to, just to give him credit for it because I think it was. Uh, but great job for Mick. He closed out the last rack really nicely after Brett's mistake, and then he ran out the next rack. So yeah. uh, he's coming back into Brett's, this thing. Brett's got to be feeling a little bit of pressure. I mean, a minute I mean, ago. it's natural. I mean, this is what happens when you're, things are looking good, and now Mick just got out, and you had a lot of balls on the table, and now you're sitting there going. Oh, absolutely. A, I mean, a few minutes ago, it was looking like it could have been 5-1. Yeah. And 5-1 is almost insurmountable against a good player. It's almost impossible to to come back. Your odds are so low of coming back into it. Before three, you got a brand new ball game. That was just yeah. a few minutes. Well, I'm saying the, the, the pressure now is transferred to Brett. Yep. I, I mean, in my mind, it has 100. percent Let's see what Brett does with it. Uh, Sean Heenan said, Christine heard that. Yeah. Scotch okay. Troubles. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, our Scotch Troubles uh, conversation. Yeah, yeah. Of course she did. Yeah, I, I know better. I know better. That's okay. But, but no, uh, so he did it. Oh, that's interesting. No. It's an interesting break. He did a side break, but he didn't hit the second no, ball. He hit, he, the hit the, ball. he hit the head ball, but did it from the side. Usually if you break yeah. from the side, you're hitting the second ball. But I think he was trying to cup break it kind of bring it over before the side pocket yeah i mean he did get a good break he did but it, it did unfortunately the cue ball went right to the side oh no no well, yeah there it oh it's it still... went up in the corner oh he pulled it out already. oh okay he yeah he down. pulled it out and set it down okay i, I thought yeah the cue ball went right in sort of shot right into the pocket but interesting break from Brett and now Mick. Yeah, back at the with table. another opportunity to run out a rack, another ball in hand. And you know what? I tell you what. Yes, sir. If if Mick runs out this rack and closes this rack out, I put him as the favorite to win the match because Brett has been sitting for so long. All he's done is you know since he missed that shot two racks ago, is just sit in his chair. And then he yeah. had one one break. Yeah, yeah. Scratch. yeah and, that's true. He's not you know, had much so, table time here. Yeah, you get cold. 
And I tell you, Brett looks like to me, he looks like a rhythm shooter, one that likes to stay at the table and keep yeah. keep, keep going. You yeah. know, I'm surprised he's not over there doing jumping jacks or you know, well, he's sitting there pretty push ups uh, or something. Pretty calm. All right, so mix got got things opened up a bit. He decided to take solids. Not a bad choice, but you do have less balls to shoot at because it was two solids that went in on the break. And so now he's down to just four left, so it does make it a little bit more difficult, you know, to run out. I, usually the one that you pocket balls for, the other one is the one you want to take a lot of times because you got more you got more options. Uh, but he's got an angle, got a nice angle here. This is gonna be the shot right here. This is the one. Is he gonna go inside? I think she should a little bit. Yeah, I got to bring it down the other side. Yeah, I think check check with inside. Uh, yeah, he's, he tried he, it. He tried, but he he, does he it have the uh, firm. yeah the angle was a little tough to do a lot of inside and get around that 14 ball well, i'm saying if you want it to take you gotta hit it just a little bit less uh or a little slower yeah yeah a little slower a little pace low. but then the the inside's gonna check up the cue ball and it's not barely gonna move anywhere well, I mean, so. a little nice not so much i mean not overdo it on the inside yeah it's a touchy touchy so, shot it's one of those uh Almost center ball with just a tip, maybe. Yeah, I don't think he's got anything here. Because you got to get it to release off the rail instead of. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure he's got anything here. I'd play safe. Okay, where where are you leaving the cue ball hit, here? I'm hitting the. Sh show me where you're leaving the cue ball here. I'm hitting the six right here and bringing the cue ball somewhere in here. How's the cue ball going to get there if the six goes there? No, I'm 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 going off the inside of the six. Oh, okay, that's your cue ball pad. Uh, maybe even just hitting the head on, just drifting down here. All right, somewhere in here. All right, if you hit the clear button, it takes it away. Okay, that's my graphics aren't really good. But there you go. You're gonna have to hit it pretty flush. Now you know just how to use it down. Now you know how to use the telestrator. Oh, but he cut Holy it in like a smokes. boss. What a shot! And oh, no reward. He's got position. No, I think he can. He can hit it. He can hit it. <laughs> wow, what a shot, that man! I awesome. didn't think that was even possible. <laughs> that was awesome. That was a great shot. I don't think I'd have tried it. Unfortunate that he didn't really get shape on the three ball. I don't know. I'm not at the table. I, I think. I tell you what. I Mick, think he can make it. Mick is feeling like Superman right now. I think like he can he, throw it. Nothing. Nothing can. You know what I mean? Spin it in there with a little spin, spin. We'll throw it over there. Uh, I don't think so. I think he's yeah. looking at the. He's what's looking, he gonna do? He can't. I mean, how do you get on the eight? If he did that, well, he's he's looking at this shot here. No. Oh heck, no, 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 no! I ain't doing that. Not in a million years, me. I think. Well, that that's what he was. That's what he was eyeing up. He was just playing posturing. That's what he was eyeing he's up. He's gonna hit that thing, but he's gonna. I think he's just going to dribble it over there and just kind of leave the cue ball on the end rail again. By the, All right. Somewhere you in here. Play your safety that you were going to play last time. Yeah, kind of. All right. And unless he can get it, it looks like he can maybe, he can, might be able to throw it in there. But let's, I don't know where he can, I don't think he can get on the eight. Well, let's find out. I guess he can oh, he's calling. up. So he's calling this pocket over here. Is he? Yeah, he just called it. Oh, my. Is it that is a so that, is it that's, is it does it have a path? No, I think he's doing the double I, Oh, it goes in that pocket. <laughs> now that's the one he should have called. <laughs> Why didn't you see that, Dane? I didn't. Where were you? I surely didn't see it going. You would have gotten like five tick marks on your on your on your board there for that calling that yeah, one. I know. I got a demerit on that one. Yeah, to erase, write it down. use the eraser. <laughs> no, I just want one plus, one minus. So. <laughs> got it in brackets. Uh, how many do I have on the score sheet? You got none. Oh, you called nothing. <laughs> See, that's the smart commentator. The smart commentator doesn't try to guess. We just let yeah, him play. He's got way more experience than me, that's for sure. Who's that? You. Me? Commentating. Oh, at commentating. <laughs> Not in pool, though. 
Oh yeah, that too. My robustus is what twenty three. Yeah, I think, I, think. Uh, I think I'm around the same amount. Okay, so here we go with Brett. He's finally got a look at the table. He's been sitting for quite mm -hmm. some time, though, hasn't he? Oh, yeah, Other but, than the dry break, he's been yeah. in his chair for a while. Oh, that is, yeah. yeah, just did, like you said, a little tentative. Did you see this? Yeah, tentative is one word for it, but he decelerated on his stroke. Did you see that? So yeah, as he was coming forward, that, that cue decelerated. Course, and that, and he's that's, still in good shape here. Yeah. He's still good. But it's just uh, he's not as warm as he was. He still got control. Yeah, I think he's going to run into the eight here. Fif play the fifteen. If you do run into the eight, you have to be careful that the eight doesn't tie up yes, the eleven. You ball. barely want to hit it, right? Or hit it hard. Or, or hit, or it, hit it, it hard. Yeah, I think or you hit, want it, to hit it hard. Hit it fairly firm. I'd hit it firm. It doesn't tie up to a ball because then you're going to have a shot no matter what. That was pretty yeah, good. Yeah, I don't like but, it. I don't like it. I don't like it. He's got nowhere for that 11. Yeah, that's what I was afraid of. Because I knew the eight ball yeah. was going to come into the 11, you know, into that area with the 11. Yeah. He, he hit it kind of mid. Uh, yeah, mid. you wanted to just kind of power that thing out of there so it just pops it loose. He wanted to belt it because he had all these, he had lots of opportunity. Right, right. There was Different. There was going to be a shot for yes. him. He, he didn't have to be. Uh, so he's playing safe. He's not going to like to hear us. And later. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to draw my circle here. Are you? Yep. Okay. He's calling safe, and he's going to get the cue ball yep, right, there. right in this circle. I think you're quite right. He missed my circle. Damn it. Yeah. I, he mark, that, mark me down for a demerit. He left that, that pretty good, though. He no, did not no. get inside. I know, but he <laughs> left the object ball in a good spot. He did. He did. Good you know, because a lot of yeah. people do that, get safe, and then they'll end up with the their object ball in the end reel in a bad spot. Uh-huh. That's right. And they're like, oh. You got to play the safe and play the object ball <laughs> to a good he spot. He left his in a really good spot. Yeah. From anywhere. You know, but, but the good news is for, you know, the good news for Mick? Yeah. He gets to play. Yes. Because he didn't run out, right? So. You, yes, you got, he's got that, a shot. Well, so that, that's the way you got to look at it all right, I'm from a, his I'm, perspective. So right? I'm, I'm calling it. Here we go. You ready? Okay, I'm ready. All right. Here we go. Boom. Uh -huh. Boom. Boom. Three rails. Oh. In there. And where's it going? <laughs> that's not bad. You like it? Yeah. That's I my shot like right it. there. I do like it. I'm all about it, actually. That's probably all he's got. Instead of, I mean, I don't like trying to cut. Yeah, I don't like this. Kind or of down. plan. Do you like that? Coming down here to the bottom rail? No. Where he's looking just it, there with, at, the, with at the first diamond with inside? No, because <laughs> because you're probably. Because I don't think you get safe. Right? No, you probably don't get safe. And you probably don't even hit a rail. If you do come in and hit the eight. You probably I mean, even if you get a hit, good hit, you just leave it in. Yeah. I kind of like what you like go what for you it, do. man. Yeah. You know that it's a you're free rolling, yeah. right? Because the guy was supposed to run yeah, out. Yeah, you weren't even supposed to get this shot. So you weren't even supposed to come to the, the way table, I always look right? At it. So this is a free shot. You might as well just go ahead and. That's the way I look at it every time. Yep. I'm like, you know what? Watch this. <laughs> you're free rolling here. Yeah. He just doesn't want to pull the trigger because he knows it's, it's there. I mean, the the three rail kick. Eight ball in the but corner. What I'm saying is, there. Is, is he knows this is it. <laughs> yeah, it's, hard, uh, he's, to, it's he, hard to pull the trigger. Oh, he, he's calling my shot. Is he? Yep. Here he called go. that corner. Here we go. Here we go. He's calling my shot. I like it. Oh. oh. Okay. I get a mark on the score. I get yes, a mark on the sheet because yes, he, he, he definitely did. did my shot, even though you he did. wasn't successful. We give him credit. That was the only shot that I saw. I mean, that was any good. I mean, it was a one out of a hundred and fifty or more, but Patrick called it. Yeah, right. All right, I still got to do something. Get a little work, not much. He doesn't look like someone would be bothered with this nine ball. 
But he's thinking about it. He, uh, yeah. He's I, just taking his time. Taking his time. I go nine. Yeah, nine first, then 12. Yeah, I would, yeah. yeah I sure. mean, nine, then you just. 12 and just check up and come straight up for the eight. Easy. Piece of cake. Yeah, I would draw back oh. a little bit like that. But I don't now, really now like now that. The problem is, now it's, he's going to have to drag it down the rail. Yeah, right it's all good, though. It's, it's easy peasy. It's like oh, either on top. it's either really easy or I'll just kind of easy. You, you can't know? really tell the angle, but yeah, he's is... good. He could have done anything he wanted, really. There. All right, Brett takes it five to three, and he's on the hill. Oh, it's only it's, yeah, six. it's race to six. Oh my bad, Brett's on the hill. What's going on over there? Raw Hannah's already gone home. We're still streaming three tables over here. Raw, where are you at? You call it a night he, early. He, he just he just messaged me and responded to that. He said, "My man, Patrick, <laughs> you're my man." Did he? Yeah. <laughs> Raw did. <laughs> See, he likes to say it. My man. I know. Raw's, Raw's great. Good, I, I love good him. People. He's he's fun. He's we good people. we've been having a good time this week. Yeah, his. I I don't know two three years ago when he, oh, when he first started coming out here, his wife came and she said, "I said oh. I said you're looking good, Ra." And she goes, "Yeah." She goes, "He dresses like that because I dress him." She told me. I was like, "All right." His wife came out with him. Yeah. Oh, that's. She, he said she's here this time. I asked her. Oh, really? Yeah, I hadn't seen. I her. haven't seen her either. That's cool. She's super nice. Yeah, no, I don't remember Raw doing it two or three years ago. I remember it being rail, been a couple Railbirds. Years ago. It was uh, Sherry and Sherry and Kevin Ross from yeah, Railbirds. I mean, like right after COVID, I think it was Raw. He came up. Did he? Okay. Because Railbirds would was doing it for a while. For a long time. And I haven't seen them doing too much. I don't know if uh, Kevin and, and Sherry Ross are still doing the traveling uh, streaming gig. Okay. Yeah, it's a, it's a lot it's a lot of travel. It is. I mean, I th I think it's just who they're choosing right now. And Ross. Yeah. Well, Ross Ross from California, so for him, he can just drive up. You know, for them, they got to fly with all that extreme equipment. They got to mm -hmm. fly out here from, I think Mich Michigan. Michigan. Michigan yeah. yeah, Michigan. That's a long way. And Ross is a celebrity, it. man. He's oh yeah, he's matchroom baby. Yeah, he started the JIC too. <laughs> he's he's good. Yeah, he does a lot for the juniors in the community. He's at all the main events. I forgot to give him some, give him some crap about his his uh, Steve Harvey that he pulled, in uh, at the uh, at the CSI uh, oh, world he, world events. Did I you, didn't did you see, see what he did. Oh, okay. Well, he pulled a Steve Harvey. Yeah, I just yeah. And it's an you know, honest mistake, you know. I don't know if you know, like from somebody, Feud somebody might have gave him the yeah. Well, you know, what, <laughs> you know what Steve Harvey did uh, with the uh, the Oscars. He 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 called out the wrong oh okay, the, the, the wrong yeah, yeah, the yeah. wrong movie for Best Picture. Right now, I got uh, it was the other one, and then they had to go back and they change it. Oh, uh, I do and, remember this. And, uh, and Ra had accidentally called. Um, it was Lee Van Corteza that won. And he said, Carlo Beato, congratulations, Carlo Beato. Yeah, yeah, but Lee yeah. Van Corteza is standing up there with the trophy. Right. And he's looking around going, oh, wait a second. I do remember that. <laughs> it was an honest mistake. You know, anybody, you know, people were kind of brutal in the chat about it. But I get it. Yeah, everybody makes that, mistakes, huh? you know. All right. All right. Mix, mix banging his way through this rack. Yeah, he Four is. Balls left. It doesn't look like he can stop it. I think he's got to rub it, rubbing, a little rubbing. What do you think? I think he's got to go into it. A two or five okay, oh five. that's pretty oh he missed the shot. yeah he did he was really trying he got putting all his energy into that bump out shot which was 
which good attempt. was nice. Yeah, it was a good <laughs> it was a good shot. But um, got to pocket that ball. Uh, but luckily for him, the 13 is still pretty tied up. Yeah. You know, and the, four, a bad and the 14, right? Well, yeah, as long as that other I mean, solids he's got down yeah. here blocking the pocket. Yeah, the, I mean, the, the 14 plays in, you know, the, this, this corner, right. you know, this corner or this side, right? So the 14's got a couple pockets, but the 13 has no pocket. The 13 has to be broken out. So sure. all your attention, all your attention's got to be on how you're going to attack the 13. And the 14. But like I said, the 14 has pockets. You don't have to break it out. No, I know, but I mean, you got to get, he looks like he's going to have to get short side on it, though. Side pocket. Now, he's got the what? He's got the upper, the upper right or the middle right? Uh-oh. Oh, okay. Yeah, this isn't I'm looking bad. good. He's running out of ammo here, and he's really <laughs> straight on the 15. And uh, I... I don't think he's going to get anything done with that shot. He's going to have to go. Yeah, he's going to have to go 11 ball here. Yeah. Because. That's the scratch of the back of the head. Yeah. I've been there a million times. I know. You see that from Al. You ever watch Alex Pagalion? You know, whenever he's playing, like, especially yeah. like one pocket or something, he's really thinking. He's always scratching his head. Yeah. Yeah. All right, I got the shot, but he's in the way. I can't draw it out because his head's in the way. So I know what he's doing, though. He's going to go. Okay, I didn't know what he was doing. Never mind. All right. Well, he's going to drift down. He's going to drift down here to the and come up. No. Yes. He's going to draw. He's going to put. I'm going to give you the cue ball here. He's going to put low left. Uh -huh. Low left on this ball, just right in there. Okay. He's going to come off this. Uh-huh. And try to come into this. You think so? I think you might be right. I think but the might but be the right. but the leave that he's going to get is not going to be. It's good, not guaranteed. Think. It's going to have to come yeah. into it hard. There it is. Yeah. And the, but the leave. See, just yeah. mark one down for me, please. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. I don't like it. Definitely. Either. Definitely called that one, and I even called that he wasn't going to really like his leave. Now the only thing he's got here is this back cut, back bank, back bank. Yep. yep. He's got to come in. He's got to come into that ball. He better hope he runs into the five. If that's the five. Yeah, he's going to have to run into that ball to clear it for the fourteen. Because that. But you know ball, what's going to happen if he makes it? He's going to have nothing on the fourteen. Ball's gonna do. Unless. Oh, I don't. Hold on, I got it here. <laughs> I got it. Okay. Unless, gotcha. yeah. Unless. <laughs> well, let me look unless where the he, going. Unless he can get it to come off of this five. If he can bank it into the five that's what I'm and saying. into the pocket, yes. now it opens up that that's pocket so the 14 that, goes there. Saying. Okay, he, all right. That's what I'm saying. He's got to that's, – that's, that's all got to happen. That's a lot to ask for. And cue ball speed. That's a lot to ask for. It is. It's big It's big shot. Sean Heenan's got he, – he said great call, Patrick. So he's he's got a scoreboard at home too. Oh, nice. See? He's put, he's putting me down for a score. He need, He needed to be big shot Brett right there. Yeah, but I think he kind of did a. I think he did it. There's a bailout clause right there. Yeah, <laughs> which I, I was think probably he, the smarter move. <laughs> I think he waited. I think he waited too long to break. No, that I'm out. just he, saying. I think that was the smartest move he did. Was play up there. Well, oh, nice shot from Mick. Yeah, Mick said thank you very much. Just trying to keep his opponent from closing it out. And so every game from here on out is do or die. Mick's got to win three straight racks to stay See, in this tournament. See, even a seven-foot table, I think that that's a little bit of a long reach to draw, right, from right-hander. So that's why he's shooting. Oof. Cheated the pocket a little bit. Pretty good. Pretty good. Good ball speed here, and he's yeah, yeah, just down to the end rail and back out, right? Don't baby it. I think so. Yeah. Don't baby it. Give it a little bit, a little love. Perfect speed right there. 
Not bad. Oh. Okay. Here now we go. Where's he going to go? Well, Andrew. he's, he's going to go. I'm going to give you another tick mark yep. to get this right. It's going to cut cut it to here. Mm -hmm. Cue ball is going to come out to here mm -hmm. and out this way. Okay. And he wants to be right in this area here for the eight. Yep. Well, heck yeah, he does. You like it? I hope he can get there. Can he follow my line? Look at, oh, look at my look line. At this. Look at my line. Oh, that's not look bad. That that's not bad. I did draw the circle he there, did Jack. Draw it. He, did, he didn't make my circle, though. <laughs> Nice call. That was pretty good. <laughs> All right. Make, made it a little closer. Mix made it a little closer. I turned you down. I turned you Jack Kiske came over with a score sheet that said 6-1. Just literally punished his opponent. Not happy that he wasn't on the stream, commentators. Yeah, <laughs> well, sometimes, you know, he, it's, it's the way it works. But. Yeah. Oh, look, you get to see the replay. You know, I, I should get a couple. That I should get. Very a, good. I should get a couple of tick marks for that I one. I did. I give you. You mean like I'm five? You, you should okay. give me five for that. Right. That was right. absolutely perfect. That look, is exactly look. as it draw it up. Look. Yeah, I feel like I feel like Coach Belichick drawing up the play. That yeah, was pretty good. And Tom Brady's throwing the ball. Yeah. Touchdown. Right he there. just didn't hit it firm enough to get to where you were talking. <laughs> it was on that line though. He, he got he got perfect. He got yeah, he got actually good. better than where I got. Yeah, I, I, I so. went too far yes, with my circle. Did. That was you gave him a little bit of a back. Yeah, cover. he was he was easier. Yeah. I guess I should have given him more credit. Whose break is it? Uh, not Brett's? sure. Is it is Brett? Brett. Yeah, it is Brett's okay, break. Brett. Brett's break. Check out the big break on Brett. You like Pulp Fiction? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I like to see him. Who's, whose motorcycle is that, baby? That's a chopper. That's baby. a chopper, baby. I had to crash that Honda, well, baby. Who's, whose chopper is that? Zed's. Who's Zed, baby? Zed's Zed's dead. dead. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what happened to my Honda? I had to yeah. crash that Honda, baby. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I love Pulp Fiction. That's a great movie. Yeah, you can is. watch it. I can watch it tomorrow, and it'll be, I'll see something I didn't ever see before. Oh yeah, that's what cracks me up. I love you know all Quentin Tarantino stuff is great. Death Sean, Tell Dawn is that we're gonna get, get give a tick mark to Sean Heenan too. He Sean said, wants one. Yeah, he said two rails to the eight, so he. He gets one, too. All right, Sean. I give you a tick mark. Buddy. You're in the left column on the yeah, little pad. The only person that didn't call that one is you. I know. Well, I was. I, I deferred. <laughs> I said, what's he going to no, do? No, I know. I know. You, you did. I, I gave it to. I gave. You would have called that. I gave props to the expert. You would have shot that exactly the same way. I know. I know you would have. I don't know. I don't know what I would have done. I might have flipped a coin. <laughs> You'd have banked it. <laughs> I'm telling you what the way I've been lagging. I'm, I'm thinking about Pulling the quarter out. Hey, you want to flip? <laughs> <laughs> My next match. I was long and I was short. I'm like, what the heck? Artem's in the house. All right. How many went down? Yeah, one ball went down. It's like a stripe. A stripe went down on the break. Open table here for Brett. He's eyeing the he's eyeing the layout, seeing which one looks better. Um, the obvious kind of issue here is this three nine. That's what you want to pay attention to. But it's not really that big of a problem for either suit because you got lots of balls around it that kind of nudge it out of there. And because of that, I think I'll take stripes here. I think stripes is is the best because you've got the uh, you know you've got the thirteen, which is a pretty easy starter ball. And then you've got balls that are close to the side pocket with stripes that are, that are going to help you nudge out that trouble ball. Right. So it looks like he uh, thinks the same way you do. That's a pretty good spot to be right there, I think. Yeah, not bad. 
You going for the breakout on this one? You going to try to draw into it? Either that or he's going to have to. Yeah. I mean, it's got to be now. Just uh, just a little bit of low right there. It's got to be now. Just draw right into that right into that pile right here. It's got to be now. Oh, and no. He says no. No? Okay. No. Shooting the 11, drawing back for the 15. Okay. Well, he's got it well, again, see, but, actually, but the, now he's going away. Anyway. You know, the reason that I like to address breakouts early is because after you break it out, you have more targets to shoot at afterwards. So does that nine pass that three? I don't think so. I don't think so either. No, it has to be broken out. That's why. That's and what I'm saying. How is he going to get on it? Well, to that's what I'm that's saying. That's what you're like, saying. I yeah, know when, when you have when it, you had it, you got to get to it early. early. You get yes. it early, and then you got more yes. targets to set up for well, afterwards. I mean, we're not saying he did anything wrong because he might have a whole other plan that makes it look. Like it's algebra. Yeah, that's uh, not bad. But now he's shooting over a ball. Oh, he's got the draw shot now. Off the 12. So he can draw off this 12 ball. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. And then he sets up for the that's 10. There. He's got the 10 to shoot next, right? Yeah. That breaks it out. Yeah. As long as he doesn't get it into no man's land in front of that five. I, I think it's going to come straight down this way. Right? That That's what it looks like. That's where it looks like it's wired to it go. The, uh, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, 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 it yeah, looks yeah. like it's wired it to go. Now that I took a second glance, I think yeah. you're right. The way that they're lined up, it looks like it's wired to just kind of not. It, it looks like it's fine to, to do that, and it's not going to get tied up to the five ball. But I don't know how much room between those two balls either. The five and the nine. Doesn't look like much from our angle. Can't tell from here. A little bit. He didn't touch it, and he missed it. Yeah, I wonder. I wonder what happened there. Must not, not sure what there. happened must there. Must not have been there. Like, like I said, that that mm. little bit of. We can't get that exact angle. So here. now, although I don't think the nine goes, but the three ball, I do think plays. I think the three ball plays no problem to the side. I think it does too. Now, yeah, I don't know about see, no you, problem. You, you see how it's just good. the three yeah. ball just kind of sticks out a little bit more here than the nine, and that makes it <laughs> that makes me know that the the three has room to go. But I, I don't think he side. wants to move that one right now. Too early. Well, now, yeah, now it's too late. Now he's got to find a place to hide. No, I, I think he still got that ball. Which one? The the four? Yeah. The purple four? Yeah. You think, I he's, think got he's got it? I think he's got it. But it must be tight. I don't know. It must be tight. <laughs> I don't know. That's what he's shooting. Yeah. Oh, it does go. Good call. Mark yourself down for I one. Did. I got. I got another right. tick. Yep. Dang, it's yep. been Mark a minute. Down. Been a minute. I'm how, just going to erase the negative. How much one. are we playing for here with this tick mark game? <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm just going <laughs> to erase the up. negatives. I still only got one tick. <laughs> I got. I got food coupons that they gave me for. Uh, oh boy. <laughs> food. Well, if you get enough, if you get enough right calls, you get free lunch. <laughs> <laughs> they kind of like in school. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> Did you get free lunch at school? Uh, no. Oh. Well, only because the lunch lady liked me a lot. Oh, okay. <laughs> Sometimes you got to work it from a different <laughs> angle, buddy. You get some extra chicken yeah. strips. You got to tell her how nice she looks. Her hair looks nice. Stuff like fish that. sticks. You get some. It every, goes a long way with sticks. the lunch lady. I'm telling you. Because <laughs> they get another McGrief usually. So when you're the nice kid to them. My okay. mom raised me right. She okay. raised me to do the smart stuff. Okay. This All rack right. is not getting any easier without ice cream cones. Addressing that. <laughs> Got to dress that three. Man, soft serve. Did you not have that stuff? I'm old. Bro. I don't know, man. I'm I don't, old, I don't man. remember ice cream in we school. We had an apple machine. That ought to tell you how old I am. An apple machine? <laughs> yeah. Like, what What There's does that mean? Apples in it. You put money in the apple game. A down. vending machine with apples? Yes. 
Yes. I've never seen anything like that. That's what I'm telling you. I'm old. Yeah, we were in the truly supposed to be doing healthy stuff, except for we had soft serve. <laughs> soft serve. You could make your own ice cream cones. Yeah, I'm old. All right. So Mick is running out of real estate here. Oh, he's, he's running good. out of ammunition. He better he's good. Better do something here. Drag it right over there. Yeah, oh, you know I was, was good. Oh, he's what does he good. do here? He kind of rearranged the furniture a little bit. But I thought he was going to make that. I I could tell by the way he was trying to hold it to still have the angle on the three in the side that he was going to miss that shot because he was trying to trying so hard to not move the cue ball too far. The angle was too steep. I don't know. Everybody on the chat, has this been a good match? It's been a good match, I think. I'm really enjoying this match. Both these players are really entertaining. I like their style. Uh, I like how they approach the, the game. and They're playing good pool. Yeah. Brett's, Brett's got himself a little bit of quandary here, too. What's he do with that? How's he get to that nine? He doesn't. He plays a safety. <laughs> he doesn't. He plays a safety on the nine, right? I, well, yeah. Well, I don't know. I don't think I mean, you can I get a ball. See, I don't Actually, know. I don't think you can get a ball to a rail from this position. If I, what because I was looking at it, is just coming into the nine full mm -hmm. and trying to freeze, you know, hold the cue ball behind the nine. But you're not going to get this ball to this ball and mm -hmm. this ball to the rail without moving a bunch of stuff. And no, you're going to run into both of them. Yeah, you got to get a rail, and that's not going to happen. Yeah, he, he doesn't want it. to move that one right now, but he's yeah. got to get to it eventually. But if he was, if if that cue ball was right here, oh, oh, look at that! That's the oh, safety I was my looking for. Goodness, that's not what he was trying to do. That's though. the safety I was looking at. He tried to make it. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm joking, obviously, but. Talk about a lucky <laughs> That miss. is nice. Oh, and uh, Nick, Mick is over there laughing. He's laughing. He's like, oh, come on, man. Really? You're going to miss a shot and leave me that. Yeah. Really? Oh, yeah. He's thinking, how did that shit just happen? I mean, stuff just happened. I'm sorry. So now this one, he's got to go. He's got to go left spin on the cue ball. Come to the rail here. To hit the two? To get to the two, maybe not that much. He might left. not have put much might, left. Yeah, just a little just bit. A little. Yeah, just a little. Let's let's see. Okay, maybe half just, a tip. Yeah, yeah, a half a tip of left, right there. You like that? Yeah. You like that little cue ball? I do. Yeah. I mean, depending on, and he'll know. But he, of course, even. But if, I mean, he knows his stick. Even right? if you right? do, even if you do this, and you pocket the two, you still don't have anything. No, you don't want to pocket it. You don't want to make the two. Look, I mean, if you, you hit, just want to hit the two. Yeah, but if you hit the two, it's, it's most probably likely. Going in. <laughs> yeah. I mean, come on now. It's more likely to go in a pocket than it is to hit a We're rail. I'm trying to jinx him. I'm, I'm just saying, it's more. If you get the hit, it's more likely to go into a pocket than it is to hit the rail. Uh, I don't know. I think you can hit the far side up here of the knuckle, we'll call it. <laughs> Yeah, but you're you're right. Ideally, you want to get a good hit and not and not pocket it because everything is still in trouble. And he ma he makes the ball just like I said. Yeah, yeah you're right, hundred percent. All right, put me down. Put me down for one there. <laughs> no, I'm good. All right, sends it for a ride. Oh, look at that. What is he going to have? That's spectacular. Yeah, but your mic's off, so no one can hear you. <laughs> that was spectacular. Yeah, well, so he made the kick on the two ball. I don't know if you saw that because you were on yeah, your phone. But, I did see the, that. But then he, he hammered the three to get the cue ball all the way back down to the other side of the table and leaving him a long shot. So, yeah. you know, hey, at the end of the day, that it may not work out for him, but he tried He tried his hardest. And yeah. He If he loses this set, He's got to be happy with his performance because well, he's got to be careful here. 
He's gonna have to run in the eight, maybe. No, oh, he's gonna go up top. Nah, he's he's good. good. He's good. That was good. That was, I'm just I saying, couldn't tell from that angle. I'm I thought saying, he had to go the other way. Mick, yes. Mick Johnson's got to be got to be happy with his performance because yes. you know he, he's playing somebody that's forty points higher than him in Fargo and and no. who's shooting good and uh, no. but Mick is showing that he's. He deserves to be in platinum. He belongs here, even though his tournament fell short a little bit this time. Congratulations to Brett Sherman. Uh, fantastic um, Six, four. match. And uh, we're going to sign.